Hey guys, I really like the Roman courtyard walls that we put together last episode, except for the roof. There's a whole bunch of things wrong with this roof. The first is, straight up, I just don't like the color. I'd like to have a dark green instead. And the next three are more important. So the first of those is that you see this displacement effect that's occurring every time I overlap one of the segments, we're getting this ugly effect in some regard. And the second thing, it's only obvious once you're close up, but once you're close up, every single tile looks exactly the same. And then the third thing is that zoom out problem that I mentioned at the end of last episode, where suddenly the roof tiles start to go transparent. So we're gonna solve every single one of these issues this episode, and it all starts with Quixel Mixer. Hey guys, welcome to today's episode. And the very first thing that we're going to do, if you haven't done so already, is we're going to get Quixel Mixer. In Quixel Mixer, it's really my go-to tool for creating multiple variations of a material. And then I use an additional technique that actually we covered in episode seven, if you've seen that already, but that will blend the materials together and really give the material an overall variable feel. So to download, you just hit the download for free button. That's gonna get the EXE in the downloads folder, and then you just run the setup. So when you first launch Quixel Mixer, you'll need to create a new mix. You might need to log in before you do this. And I'm just gonna title this Green Roof Tiles. Now you can make this an 8K texture, but Quixel Mixer actually recommends you stick with 4K because 8K is still experimental. So basically what Quixel Mixer allows us to do is take two or more materials, layer them in, apply different effects, and basically create a brand new material. So that's exactly what we're going to do in Quixel Mixer. We're going to create two variations and then bring them into the engine. And from the engine, then we'll apply some techniques to blend in those two. So the first thing is we need our materials in Quixel Mixer that we're gonna to blend together. And you heard me say earlier that I wanted a green roof tile. So I just started out by searching for green and I went through a whole bunch. And what I ended up finding that I liked was this Verde Guatemala marble here. And you could just download that right there. And the other one was this painted concrete. You gotta scroll down, it looks like this, but basically had a very similar color. And I really like the effect of having some paint kind of scraped off. And if we blend that in with the marble, I think it's gonna look really good on the roof tiles. The thing to keep in mind about choosing materials is that if there's a distinct pattern of the material, that's probably not gonna tile appropriately when you use it in the game. So just be cognizant of that. Initially, I selected some roof shingles. It just didn't work at all with the tile. So then I can go back over to the viewport and then I'm gonna jump over to my layers. And this is where we're going to apply the different layers. So I can say a new layer, surface layer, and I can choose from what I've downloaded in my local library. So the first one I'm gonna choose is this Verde Guatemala marble. And then I can create a second layer just by clicking the add surface layer again. And we're gonna choose painted concrete for that one. And already you're seeing that we're getting this blending effect based on the normal map, based on the height data. And the way we can adjust how much blending is occurring based on that height data is this height bar right over here. So if we lower the threshold, one of the materials is going to blend more. And if we raise the threshold, the other material will blend more. And we can also adjust the blend radius here, which is going to decrease or increase the size of that blending relative to the height data. So that looks like a pretty good blending. Kind of see three layers. I have their initial layer and then kind of this like concrete gray layer and then this additional stuff on top. But here's the thing, I wanna make it a lot darker. So I'm gonna go into the albedo and we're gonna move all the way down here to like a dark green. And the same with the Verde Guatemala marble. I'm gonna go into the albedo and do the same thing there. And then I typically play with the height radius again just to see how that looks if I adjust it further. So do I want the discolorations to be very green or do I want them to be more dark like they are there? And you could play with this. And I think I just want a subtle off coloring. So something like that looks pretty good. So now we're ready to save and export our first variation of this. So I'm gonna go up to file, save as, and I'm just gonna save this as green roof tiles one. And then to export, Exactly that, go to the export tab. And so for this, we don't actually need all the different texture maps here. I'm gonna uncheck the metalness, displacement, roughness. All we need is the albedo, the normal, and the AO. Because if you watched episode seven, those were the only three texture samples that we actually need to create the material. And make sure down here to change this from 256, you want this to be at least 4K. Export to disk. And remember where you exported it up here, because we're gonna need to take those files and drag them into our game directory. All right, so now let's create our second variation. So typically what I do is I go right back to layers and we don't wanna fundamentally change the structure of the material, right? I just wanna change the variation so that when we blend these two together, it really is varied. 
And the way I typically handle that is I select whatever the variable material is, in this case, the painted concrete. And then under placement, what I do is I typically offset something by about a third, so 0.33, and that fundamentally changes the structure of it. But I also like to rotate it 90 degrees. And the combination of the offset and the rotation is definitely gonna be a completely different tiling than the other material we just saved. So now I can save this variation. I'm gonna call it Green Roof Tiles 2, and we'll export this one. Same three, Albedo, Normal, and AO. So now we are all set with Quixel Mixer. I'm just gonna minimize. And now we gotta go into our project folder because we gotta take these files and drag them into our project. So I'm gonna open my project folder, content. We gotta go under wherever we wanna save these. So for me, it's gonna be mega scans. It's gonna be surfaces under the walls. And I'm just gonna create a new folder here titled underscore roof tiles. And we'll go into that. The next thing is to navigate to the directory where you saved your Quixel Mixer files. So then you could just select the two that you just created and we drag them over. And now it's under walls, roof tiles. If you open up Unreal Engine, you're now going to see a prompt that says six changes to source content files have been detected. Would you like to import them? Yep. And it's gonna bring in those files right then and there. So now I'm gonna navigate to those files. So we'll go under our mega scans, surfaces, under our walls and the roof tiles. And for these, I'm just gonna change the color to green because that's the color of our roof tiles. So we've got our two tile directories here and they each have our textures, our albedo, our normal map, and our ambient occlusion. So how do we actually use a material to blend these together? And for this, I'm literally gonna leverage what we already built in episode seven, if you follow along. But under content, under MS presets, under the MMS garden landscape material, that's what we created. I'm just gonna select that and drag it over to our roof tiles folder. We're gonna copy it. And then we can right click on this and we can just say rename and I'm gonna rename this MMS Roof Tiles. And we'll go into that. Now there's a whole lot of stuff in this landscape material that quite frankly, we don't need to worry about. Our roof tiles are much simpler than this. So we can just delete out all of this, all of this stuff. And we can just select this piece. This is what we actually need and bring that over. And then we could connect up this one material function to our MMS Roof Tiles right there. Now, by default, it's got the materials from our earth quadrant when we were landscape painting, but we could just switch those out really easily. So what I'm going to do is just make this a smaller window, and I'm also going to create a new content browser on the left hand side here, just so we can quickly drag in these textures. So first, we'll get our green roof tiles one, and I could select our first texture object here and just drag that in on the left hand side in the details panel. We'll come down here to the normal map. We'll do the same thing, but now for the normal and then over to the AO, same thing. And now over to our green roof tiles two, and we'll select our second texture object here for the albedo, move that over. And now for the normal down here, select this one. And for our AO, I'm just gonna keep that the same. I'm just gonna keep that the original. Keep the material open because we might need to change the rate of tiling depending on the size of our actual roof tile. So now I'm gonna navigate over back to our Megascans 3D assets into our walls folder. And for this, we're gonna get a roof tile that we used to put together our roof last episode. So I'll drag that in. And I'm also gonna make this much larger because what I found fixes the transparency issue is just by scaling this up to a factor of five. We got very large roof tiles. And now we can go back to our surfaces, walls, roof tiles, and we're just gonna drag over our material. So how does that look? That's kind of a crazy lime green. I just wanna make that a little bit darker. So if we go back into our roof tiles one, into our textures, we just change the brightness curve here to 1.2. RGB curve to 1.2, and you see part of it already getting darker. And then I'll go back over to our second one, do the same kind of thing. Make the brightness curve 1.1 for this one, and the RGB curve 1.1. So now it's quite a bit darker. We could also play with the rate of tiling here. So I could increase this to something like, let's say 400, 400, 400, and this one maybe like 330, 330, 330. And let's see how that does. If I save, you're gonna see it recalculate. Well, what's really neat about this material is that no matter how many tiles we have, the pattern's gonna be consistent across. Yeah, the resolution there really doesn't look that great. So I'm gonna make that smaller again. So right back to, let's go 150, 150, 150. And this one will do 200, 200, 200. And so that's it for Quixel Mixer. But the rest of the episode, I'm just gonna really quick show you how I make the roofs. And I'm not even going to talk. I'm just gonna show the screen, fast forward, and these are all techniques that we've already used previous episodes. So if you've been following along with our series, you won't have any trouble at all.
So that concludes today's episode. As you can see, we have a good amount of material variation and I like the look and feel of our roof tiles. So this is what we're gonna keep. I think these episodes are gonna be a bit shorter from now on, now that we got through some of the heavy stuff. And in the next episode, we're actually going to take care of our water in our garden. We're gonna have our rivers, our lakes. The garden's gonna be virtually complete aside from our special effects. And we're doing that with the brand new experimental water system that Unreal Engine unveiled about a year ago. So I hope to see you there. <laughs>